Uh, thank you for choosing, choosing this talk. Uh, my name is Satoshi Nagayasu from Japan, and I'm from Afghan Technologies and also the Japan Postgres Users Group. Uh, this talk is uh, on Postgres 9.4 and beyond. Uh, Postgres uh, is one of the uh, largest and complex software, so I would like to uh, provide some quick overview about Postgres 9.4 and latest development process. Uh, first of all, this slide uh, is supposed to be upload, uh, uploaded on SlideShare, so if you're interested in, uh, please keep my uh, Twitter account. Uh, my name is Satoshi Narayas, uh, I'm a database vendor enthusiast, uh, also working as DBA and data steward in Japan. Uh, I started traveling Asia uh, last year, uh, I visited Hong Kong and Shenzhen and Beijing, uh, of course, and uh, Singapore in the last one year. So I'm still uh, continuing to look for some opportunity to visit other countries. Uh, my company is Uptime Technologies. Uh, I'm a co-founder. Uh, we are providing consulting services on the database and platform technologies, which uh, means uh, some kind of integrating cloud and open source technology or something like that. In Postgres world, uh, I used to work for PG sub index, a PG inspect uh, OX lockdown. These tools are uh, designed to help, deep help DBA to understand uh, Postgres internals and how it works. And also, I used to work for Postgres Forest and Postgres HC. These are, these are kind of uh, cluster technology of Postgres. And of course, I am one of the Japanese users group. And what, here is what I'm doing on Postgres. Uh, I'm working on Postgres Toolkit recently. Uh, this is a brand new Postgres TV tool, uh, but it's still under this development. So if you're interested in uh, staying from uh, uptime JP, go PT. PT means uh, Postgres Toolkit. So if you uh, read this uh, URL, you can find some sub subscription form to, stay, to be stay informed. Uh, also, I am working on Postgres add-on for Kinemos. I guess uh, many of you have not heard about Kinemos, but Kinemos is one of the most popular open source system management software in Japan. Uh, it allows us to do some monitoring, alerting, and job management. So if you're interested in uh, Kinemos, please uh, Google it. <coughs> and this is uh, a uh, there few screenshots from Kinemos and Postgres. Um, I'm working on uh, work, working on uh, creating some solution how uh, to uh, help DBA to understand Postgres and its internal work. And also, I'm start, I started hacking hardware uh, recently. Uh, I, love, I like uh, Raspberry Pi 2 and Diesel. Uh, Diesel is uh, a PGA board. How many guys uh, have uh, heard about FPGA? Oh, wait. FPGA is a programmable chip, chip so we can uh, design and uh, build their own uh, circuit within chips. So I'm very interested in this. And also, I'm working on DB, so I'm uh, combining DB and Raspberry Pi to build some IoT system just for fun, but uh, just for fun. Uh, first of all, uh, I, there, uh, I have many thanks to Magnus Haranda, a uh, member of Postgres Development Team, and Mikael Hakie, uh, French developer based in Japan. Uh, Toshi Haranda and Norio Shishoda are uh, Japanese uh, Postgres users, advanced Postgres users. Uh, this presentation is, based on, uh, is built top of uh, these materials or their documents or blogs. So. I have many sons to do there. This is today's agenda. Uh, uh, we started, we start uh, at uh, 9.4 over here. Uh, I, I will explain uh, NoSQL feature, analytics, and replication and administration infrastructure uh, beyond 9.4. OK, it's 9.4 over here. Uh, 9.4 is uh, the latest major release of Postgres. Uh, the first official release was uh, 18th December, last December. 
And the latest stable release, stable release means some bug fix version uh, is now uh, 9.4.1 and uh, was released on 5th February. So if you are interested in 9.4, uh, let's try uh, 9.4.1. Uh, here are some statistics uh, in 9.4 compared to 9.3.5. Uh, 9.3 is the uh, previous uh, major release of Postgres. Uh, there are uh, over 3,000 3, files changed, and 62,000 insertions, and 15,000 uh, deletions. So there are many, many huge changes in Postgres nowadays. Uh, there are release mode on Postgres, and uh, you can uh, find any changes in Postgres on the release mode. So if you are interested in some changes in this presentation, you can find uh, details on the release mode. And there are many, many kind of changes in Postgres uh, in 9.4, so we, have, we need to some categories of enhancement. So there are uh, several kind of enhancement, but uh, I prefer these uh, categories. Uh, Node SQL, um, analytics, and replication, administration, and basic infrastructure. <coughs> uh, Node SQL, uh, every, everyone use, use, uh, uses uh, JSON nowadays, so Postgres supports uh, JSON. Uh, there are some comp uh, uh, comparison between JSON and JSONB. Uh, JSON is uh, a data type in 9.3, av available in 9.3, and uh, JSONB is uh, available from 9.4. So uh, there are uh, some uh, difference <laughs> between JSON and JSONB. JSONB is some for uh, binary JSON, uh, different from JSON. JSON is a text representation in a Postgres storage system. So uh, binary JSON, JSONB is faster for searching. And uh, with JSONB, uh, there are some differences with, uh, compared to uh, JSON, uh, original JSON. There are no duplicate keys allowed. Last keys always win. Key order not preserved. Uh, JSONB can take advantage of gene index. I, I will show later. Uh, gene index, uh, JSONB, uh, uh, JSON can be used with BigQuery, and JSONB can be used with GeneIndex. GeneIndex allows us to reduce uh, index size, uh, as you can see. So if you uh, if you use uh, JSONB with GeneIndex, uh, GeneIndex uh, reduce I/O cost, uh, uh, reduce uh, I/O um, extra I/O cost. So if you're uh, interested in using J JSON in Postgres, please use. Uh, Please try JSON beyond Jim. Any question? Quick question. On the top it says JSON plus B tree, but on the graph it says JSON B plus B tree. Ah, sorry, yeah. Which is, uh, which uh, this is JSON. JSON plus and JSON, uh, JSON and B tree. Um, this is JSON B plus Jim. Okay, thank sorry. you. Thank you. Next thing is analytics. Uh, Postgres has very uh, large uh, uh, type, very, uh, many, many uh, aggregation functions. So uh, uh, in 9.4, uh, filter can be used with aggregation function. So filter replace case when uh, statement in SQL statement. So now we can write uh, analytics query more uh, uh, analytics queries easier way. Also, there are many, many uh, aggregation functions uh, newly introduced in 9.4. So if you are interested in uh, analytics or big data project with open source, Postgres is good to serve. And also uh, many, many uh, other, other examples of aggregation function. Order set aggregate, most common value in the subset. Uh, if you uh, don't have uh, this function, you need to write this long SQL statement. But if you have a uh, mode function, uh, we can write in one line, single line. Also, we have a uh, ramp, ramp function in 9.4. So it is similar to the previous function. Other good feature 
in 9.4 is materialized view, uh, especially uh, concurrently. Uh, reverse materialized view concurrently is introduced in 9.4, so which uh, allows us to refresh a materialized view concurrently, which means uh, in background without exclusive block, so which improves uh, usability and availability of materialized view. Next topic is uh, replication and beyond. Uh, so uh, it means uh, logical decoding. Uh, logical means uh, the logical representation from replication stream, uh, which means uh, we can uh, reproduce insert and slip update or delete operations from replication stream, which, uh, which is a uh, binary stream from uh, replication master to replication, st uh, replication slave. So which is, uh, it is like a uh, binary loop in my scale, right? So I think so. So it can be replaced on, replayed on different version and different platform. So it is very useful for uh, extending the uh, replication system or backup system. And PG receive logical command shows how it works. Uh, I will show it later. Uh, therefore, uh, replication can be more flexible uh, in terms of by BDR, bidirectional replication, was uh, This is very, very long. Uh, this is a replication software uh, has, which has long, long uh, history. And continuous backup as well. So I'm very interested in this logical decoding feature. This is an example of a uh, PG receive logical. So this example shows there are four insert statements from uh, in uh, replication stream from master node, and also we have uh, five daily statement from replication master. So we can use this this statement and uh, replace other node or other servers. Next one is administration of the system. In 9.4, we can now uh, change system configuration or process configuration without editing uh, configuration file with Emacs or VDI. We can now uh, change configuration using uh, SQL command, alter system or alter system set or reset. So now we can uh, uh, this uh, can uh, we can uh, use this to administer. Uh, this feature is good for DBA or uh, administration uh, term. Next one is infrastructure for parallelization. Uh, in 9.3, uh, background worker must start at the postmaster startup. Background worker means uh, su some sub process of Postgres to work some uh, to do something in background. But uh, in 9.3, uh, those uh, background workers must start at st postmaster startup, which means uh, Postgres service startup. And after 9.4, they can be launched on demand basis. So if you need uh, some uh, background process, you can uh, launch as you like, as you need. From parallelization point of view, it allows to launch multiple background processes to execute a child queries in parallel. So this is uh, one. Uh, one of the fundamental features uh, toward uh, parallel queries. Next one is dynamic shared memory. The shared memory can be now uh, allocated on demand basis as well. Uh, this, uh, from parallelization point of view, it allows to share data and communicate with several background processes. So combining uh, dynamic background process and dynamic shared memory into Postgres, uh, we will be able to have some uh, parallel query features in the near future. Um, this is my tiny favorite, uh, PLPGS structures. Nowadays, uh, many developers don't like uh, writing procedure, the start procedure or start function, but I like writing uh, PLPGS KL because this is a good way to uh, run logic behind database or inside database without communication cost or network cost. So I often write uh, PLPG scale function and PLPG scale structures help up 
so help me to debug uh, build this PGT functions. So if you are interested in writing those functions, please try it. <coughs> so uh, in 9.4, there are many other enhancements. So if you are interested in, please try it. SAP uh, 9.4 is uh, already a stable version, so you can try it. Next uh, is uh, beyond 9.4. Uh, one, uh, one of the items I like in 9.5 is green index. Uh, green is stand for uh, green stand for block range index, which holds summary data instead of raw data. So which uh, each bit reduce index size tremendously and also reduce creation and maintenance cost. Uh, as you can see, uh, index creation time is uh, faster, than, faster, maybe ten times faster than original uh, bit index. And also, index size is getting smaller. Uh, I can see how it size, but very, very small. But it needs extra top of edge to get the next, uh, the exact record. So selecting record have some extra cost. Between have, uh, in this example, Bitly has uh, executed in um, 4 million seconds, uh, 4 milliseconds, but Green has uh, 16, 16. So this is a new index type in Postgres. Um, if you have large amount of data or large volume of uh, table, it will, uh, you can uh, take, advantage, take advantage of this uh, index. And I looked at uh, the commit fest page. Uh, the commit fest is a process to review uh, fix, uh, to review, fix, and commit the submitted patches in Postgres committee. So there are many, many uh, kind of patches. Um, I, uh, I uh, like those uh, items in the near future. Uh, their uh, parallel CT shutdown patch is submitted. Uh, insert on conflict uh, update ignore statement also submitted. Uh, this is also known as maybe absurd, absurd statement. So we can use this to, to do such a similar uh, operation. And also, there, uh, there is a file level incremental buffer. So we have a very, very big, uh, huge uh, volume of data nowadays. So if uh, this patch is applied uh, in near future, if hopefully, hopefully uh, 9.5, we can uh, benefit from it. But uh, there, uh, these, those items are uh, still <coughs> work in progress. So I, we cannot guarantee uh, this is Coming from uh, coming with uh, 9.5, but very very interesting feature is submitted in uh, the Postgres uh, committee. So uh, wrap up. Uh, it, it's safe to say uh, one uh, Postgres is one of the most developer friendly LDBMS in the world. Uh, I I don't say uh, the most, but uh, one of the most uh, <coughs> LDBMS in the world. And as I explained. Uh, Analytics features and the performance are getting improved uh, day by day. So if you're interested in analytics project or big data project with open source, it's good, uh, Postgres is a good tool to start with. Um, in uh, Postgres developer community, people are focusing on parallel queries or parallel processing. So things are going to parallel, and we will be able to get some parallel queries in the near future, maybe 9.3, uh, 9.6 or 7. So stay, uh, keep looking, uh, Postgres, uh, try, try it. Um, if you're interested in, uh, get, uh, please try to uh, try some Git, Git code or latest development code and submit a patch or something like that. <coughs> There are several resources, resources to catch up with uh, Postgres' latest information. Uh, of course, the Postgres org is the official website for Postgres community. And also, Planet Postgres is global in the Postgres world. So if you are interested in Postgres' latest information, you can uh, catch up with here. 
and PGCon is the, the annual fossil conference in Ottawa, in Canada. So if you're interested in fossil community, uh, it's a good uh, opportunity to go. So that's all. Any, any question about phosphorus? Any questions for? Has there been any updates in the, the various languages, PL languages, PL Perl, PL Python, PL, all those? I didn't see any updates to changes that we've talked about. Uh, Updates in PL languages. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, honestly, uh, the PL languages. Uh, PL Perl is, is part of the core, isn't it? PL Perl? PL Perl, yes. Those, those, those languages more or less work like an extension. In yeah. fact, PGP and SQL is also an extension. I've read it. Which, which, which just comes. I've read the PL language. Oh, oh okay. Yes. Yes. So, so. Uh, uh, so, so, sorry, I, I don't so use. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so if you're interested, in, please uh, take, uh, check the release note. Uh, please uh, some tweet. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Post, uh, honestly, post is a very very big project. So uh, covering all of them is very is very di difficult for one person. <coughs> so it's a really, uh, good reason to share something with the uh, community. Okay. So I am not from database space, mm -hmm. but I have a question regarding Postgres uh, uh, and the comparison of it with the Oracle. Mm -hmm. The application between Postgres and Oracle, how you see it in the coming uh, next year or the coming five years? Mm -hmm. How you see the uh, competition between Oracle databases and Postgres? Well, uh, yeah, it's interesting, but uh, in, uh, compared to our problem, uh, well, uh, I think may, uh, many business people or interpret people are uh, interested in uh, compare, comparing uh, posters on Oracle. Uh, many, uh, but uh, feature, uh, I think. Uh, the basic, basic feature is very s similar okay. uh, between Postgres and Oracle, but uh, Oracle has many good uh, large ecosystem, mm -hmm. uh, including educating engineers, uh, uh, start party tools, or something like that. So it's uh, di <coughs> different from uh, Postgres. So. Using Postgres is good for uh, well not uh, uh, experienced developer or experienced Postgres users. It's good uh, good enough, but uh, many uh, enterprises want to more education service or certified tools or partitioning or file queries or uh, maybe maybe certification, hardware certification or something like that. So <coughs> it's, uh, a bit different world, I think. But uh, Postgres is getting uh, better and better uh, day by day. So I think uh, not only Postgres, all open source product, product is getting better and better. So we are, uh, open source product can uh, compete with uh, proprietary software uh, in the future or soon, soon, I think. Can I just add one thing? Okay. Uh, I don't think Oracle has support for the streaming API, which Postgres has for large objects. That's one of the biggest difference for I have observed. I could be wrong, maybe Oracle has it now, but from experience, I think that was one of the biggest differences that I used to see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, one, one, uh, one point uh, different from Oracle is uh, Postgres is. Uh, focusing on developer friend friendly, so supporting JSON or key, key value store or PL language, PL languages. So if you're a web developer or application developer, Postgres is very useful to deploy or developing application, your application, I think. I'll just add one thing you know, in general about you know, any enterprise software, like proprietary software and an open source project, 
is you know if, if I'm a developer who is who's writing a code for an open source project, uh, I, I'm going to write something which is bloody good. You know, even if I'm writing a code to do two plus two or, or five plus five, I would write something which is bloody good because thousands of people are going to read that code, and, and if I have a flaw in that code, it is going to be exposed. So I want it to do good. Whereas if I'm writing a code for an enterprise software, you know, I'm just writing code to meet some deadlines. <laughs> right, and, and here I'm writing out of my interest. I, I want it to be bloody good to, to run in the best possible way. So that's that's a huge difference. <coughs> yeah, before the discuss to JSON and JSON, you say that it just replaces hash off or are they ready for the was coming to hash off? Which means uh, JSON, uh, JSON and JSON. JSON B. JSON B. Can we just replace hash log with Can we just replace hash log with it? Or. Is that something can, can he replace H store with JSON B? Um, is that a question? I think uh, the new, new data type in Postgres is a kind of trade off, trade -off thing. So JSON B is faster, faster for searching. But if uh, we update JSON, uh, the JSON is faster for update. So, uh, so I think uh, H storage as well. So there are many many kind of uh, trade off between technologies. So choosing right data type or right technology is very important for developers and providing those information is very important for process community. So I think uh, uh, the, those uh, all technologies will uh, last last. That's all. Okay. Thank. You. Okay. Thank you.